Sam, let's turn to the positive side. And you guys, uh, again, in reading Pro Football Focus this morning, um, made reference to how great the Broncos' defense is, and you just, of course, reiterated it. But give us some numbers. Give us some some insight into uh, it seemed to me like everybody had a plus yesterday, according to Pro Football Focus, except maybe uh, Vance Walker. Is that a true uh, statement? More or less. Um, I mean, if you look at every single level of this defense, they've got guys that are playing lights out. I mean, DeMarcus Ware and Von Miller are 1-2 in the NFL in terms of total number of pressures generated. Um, those guys lead the league, the league, 1-2. One, one and two. And the best thing is that they're not just two guys deep. If you look at guys like Shaq Barrett, um, even Shane Ray when he gets on and gets his, his snaps, those guys are bringing pressure as well. So they can go at least four deep just in terms of edge rushers. Then you've got a guy like Malik Jackson is still getting pressure. He had seven total pressures just on his own against the Vikings. Um, and they can just bring an incredible amount of heat. If you watch the game yesterday, for most of the second half, they were playing incredibly soft coverage, you know, really loose, almost prevent type stuff. And they were just letting that front go to work and, and tear into the Vikings front. And it was working. You know, they don't need to, to play this tight lockdown coverage because they get so much help um, from that pass rush. The ball has to come out so quickly or the play is dead that they're able to kind of sit back and just keep an eye on the quarterback. Um, and then when you go further back in the defense, they've now got three cornerbacks playing at a high level. Tlaib, Chris Harris, um, and Roby has now come on huge bounds in the second year. And even in the middle, you've got a guy like Brandon Marshall, who is, I think, quickly becoming one of the league's best uh, linebackers. Hey, Sam, well, go ahead. I, I just want to follow up on that sure. and just make a statement. Because, Sam, you'd hear, find it interesting here. Shane Ray told me uh, last night that – he and Shaq, Shaquille Barrett, uh, are so motivated because he, they sit there and they watch those two outside rushers, Ware and, and Von Miller, and he said, we don't want to go in and mess it up. We want to try and play to their level, and they've been actually been able to do that for the most part. And the other thing, in talking to some of the secondary guys, you're absolutely right, that they were laying off the receivers because they didn't want to allow a big play. They wanted to at least to have them work for it and meanwhile let their, their rushers. And the other point I'd bring up is is Malik Jackson, who you mentioned, who's playing at a high level this year. He and Sly Williams were fighting over who actually had a sack, and it ended up they, they each got a half sack on that play. But they were fighting over, that was my sack. No, it was my sack. You came in and finished it up. It was <laughs> kind of funny to hear the discussions of the players talking about things that you sit down and analyze uh, late at night. But go ahead, Les. Sam, along the lines of the defense uh, still, I'm wondering, Pro Football Focus, an, an entity that a lot of people and a lot of teams rely on for information, do you grade defenses as a whole? And if you do, how far ahead are the Broncos of any any other team? Where do they rank? I mean, we do it indirectly by – we have a, a landing page on the, the site that just kind of – it's just a cumulative um, grade of everybody, of all the players that we put together. Um, so in that respect, the Broncos are way ahead at the top. They, they, they have the best overall um, cumulative grade from all their defensive players. They're good. They're almost double the next best team, which is the Rams, and the Rams score is based actually off the play of Aaron Donald, who's almost in another world this season. But, yeah, I mean, Denver at this point, through four games, has clearly the best defense in the NFL, and I don't think it's particularly close to the next team.